Welcome everyone. This is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to record to help my students and other students learn processing, which is the introductory programming course at Macquarie and SIBT. The agenda for this video is to explain the basics of processing, including the layout, shapes, colors, and comments, and other miscellaneous topics, basic topics. Now the first thing you'll need to know is where do you get processing from? So the website to get processing from is http colon slash slash processing.org it's a free software and you don't need much to install that software once you have processing and you run it you'll see a display window like that it's actually the editor area this is where you write your program there's a play button where you run your program stop create a new program open a previous program save the current program and export all these things can be done using keyboard shortcuts as well which i prefer depending on whether you're on windows or a mac it's either control o or command o control o in windows command o in apple or macs to open a previous program Similarly, control N or command N for a new program, control S to save and other options which you can see from the menu again if you want. Processing sketches or programs are named in a standardized fashion which is sketch underscore date followed by A, B, C, D, etc. So if I keep creating new programs, it names them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, and so on and so forth, till it reaches Z. Once it reaches Z, it says, you've run too many programs, how about taking a break? You say, okay. If you try to cheat and create another program, it says, well, oh, really, there's some fresh air that you need. Well, very clever. So what I'll do is I'll close all these programs again and open my original program. And the first program we'll write is for a simple display window. You don't have to start from here, you can just do this. So the ba most basic command in processing is size. You can specify how wide and how high you want the display window to be. In processing, all statements end with semicolon, just like in English, this end with a full stop, exclamation, or question mark. So I run this, and it creates a display window or output window of size 400 pixels by 300 pixels. You can create a display window of 100 by 100 as well. But in this case, the enclosing window has to be of at least size 150 by 150. So what you see is an output component of 100 by 100 pixels enclosed in a display window of 150 by 150. So what I'm trying to say is the smallest output window should be of size 150 by 150 so that the entire window is actually the canvas. For all our programs, we'll keep it as 400 by 300. Now, processing addressing is done in a way that the top left corner is 0, 0. As you go towards the right, the x component increases 
as you go towards the bottom, the Y component increases. So let's take a look at this point over here. This point is that much distance to the right of the origin. The entire display window is 400, which means this distance is approximately 320. Just a guess. Similarly, this point is this distance to the bottom. The entire height is 300, which means this height is about 75, which means the location of this point is approximately 320 to the right and 75 to the bottom. How do we know that? Let's write a simple instruction which is point at location 320 comma 75 and see if it draws the point at the location I specify. You cannot see much. You can see a really tiny point right over here which is where I claim 320 75 to be. You can increase you can increase the brush stroke by using stroke weight command with a capital W and specify the brush size. So brush size 5 means a higher brush size and you can now see the point over here. If you increase it to 30, it's going to be even bigger. That's it. So that's point 320, 75. Now, let's create a point at 140, 220. Any guesses where this point is going to be? Let's see. This point is 140 pixels to the right and 220 pixels to the bottom. So I approximate this point to be over here. If I run my program, well, almost. So that's point 140, 220. Let's draw a point in the center of the window. So what I want to do is draw a point that is right in the center. So if I run this, this point is 200 pixels to the right, which is half of 400, and 150 pixels to the bottom which is half of 300 but that's the problem what if the size is something like 683 and 712 or let's say 512 to compute the halfway point becomes very difficult that's my display window but I want to create a point in the center not over here processing facilitates that by remembering what's the width of your display window in a variable called width. So I can simply divide it by 2. And how high is your window? So I can divide that by 2 as well. This makes my program really scale, uh, scalable. Please note only this point. What I'll do is I'll remove the other two points. So if my display window changes in size, it doesn't matter because my point goes along with the display window size. So if my display window increases, my point will go further. If my display window size decreases, my point will go back. So 152, just keep changing it just to check it out. There you go. So that's what's called a scalable program. So instead of using constants, you should always uh, indicate locations and other values as proportion of a base value. This is called avoiding magic number. Please note that I put two slashes here and wrote a comment in front of it. So in processing, anything that you write in front of two slashes is invisible to the compiler. So the compiler sees the program without the comment, while the comments are just for documenting what we need. All right. The next command is line. 
line goes from one point to another point. So we'll draw the line from, let's say, width by 3, height by 3, to 2 times width divided by 3, to height by 3. I'm going to hide this right now by commenting it out, which means it's not a part of the executable code, and run my program. Now you can see the program is here, and if I uncomment my line, the line will be drawn from a third of the width and a third of the height, which is this point, to two thirds of the width and a third of the height, which is this one. So I'll see a line somewhere over here. Let's uncomment my pro program comment and run this. Okay. You see a line from width by 3, height by 3, to 2 width by 3, height by 3. We'll decrease the stroke rate a little bit and add a command called smooth, which makes the graphics a bit more smoother and they look a bit more nicer. That's it. That's the point. That's the line. Let's say I want to draw a line from the top middle to bottom middle. That's point width by 2, comma 0 because it is right at the top. This point at the bottom middle is width by 2, comma height. So let's create another line. Line width by 2 comma 0 to width by 2 comma height. Grab this. That's my shape. Since you know the first point of the first line and the second point of the second line, since you also know the second point of the first line and the second point of the second line you can draw more lines you can create that and similarly you can do a lot more things so now we have a kite excellent so uh, complex shapes can be drawn using simple shapes in processing